morning to all of you. Uh, it doesn't sound like a retail good morning. So good morning. Good morning. Okay, that sounds better. Uh, I think just to wake everybody up, sometimes it's essential to do this. But in this particular case, it is just to tell him that all of us are present. I think some of us are listening to him and pondering on the various things that he's told us so far. So, Ms. Sri Kesi, the I think it's it's quite nice of the way in which you've accepted our invitation. And uh, it's also nice that you came in and gave us the few points that I think is going to have a big impact. Uh, as Retailers Association of India, we were formed in 2004. And uh, we were formed with two things uh, as the main focus areas. The first thing was to help modernize retail in the country. And the second thing was that this should help in bettering the standards for customers. Uh, this was the very clear vision with which Retailers Association was set up. And I think the things that you said just now resonates well with the mission and objectives of RAI. So thank you for resurrecting that faith in the retail industry. Uh, the members of RAI are across the country. We've got 900 members with us. But we don't accept members unless the first part of customer commitment is met which is to give a cash receipt to every customer. So if they do not give a cash receipt to every customer, even if they want to be a member of RAI, we take them through the process, which we call as modern retail, which effectively means if they give a cash receipt, they can come out of their cash counter and therefore start thinking modernizing. But with that, they commit to what it is to customers and they also commit to what they need to do from, a ta from various standpoints of India and, its, uh, and, and the uh, statutory requirements there. So with that, I think we've already committed. But what you say does resonate. I think our necess it's necessary to create standards and to live by standards so that customers' expectations are getting met. Uh, we, from our side, can tell you that we will try and make sure that that it happens and we in our various meetings do bring that to, to the fore. And uh, we also realize another thing, I mean, the retail industry is long time before Walt Disney called it uh, as an industry that is got cast members in it. Because cast members are people who work in a drama or a play and you know what happens on a play. People clap if things go well, but they also throw stones at you if things do not go well. When it is retail, when customers are not being taken care of, more often than not, it may or may not be the retailer's fault. But if the customer does not feel things are right, they immediately show their displeasure. And uh, that is the beauty of this retail industry. And of course, now with e-commerce, uh, there is new changes happening. But even with that, they know who the retailer is. Otherwise, they don't want to commit with a retailer. Uh, and they, they pay for money only when they get value. And that is important. So I think that part is taken care of, but I think the, the need for standards, we commit and we also commit to work along with your office to try and enhance the methods there. I think that's something that you've already very clearly told us and we take that responsibility. The second part of how to deal with the multi-channel world, I think all of us are dabbling with it, uh, but standards are already set across the world and uh, customers would only interact with retailers if they are able to get the complete sales process completed. And I think with whatever are the rules that's getting formed now and the way in which consumers are finding themselves having their rights, things will change for sure. But uh, we work with your office to make things clearer over a period of time. Uh, I do want to tell our retail fraternity something. I think it's, uh, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people who've come in, talked here, gone back, but um, with Mr. Desi Raju's office, we found that they are very interactive. Uh, over the last two months, I think we've had quite a few sessions on various things, including on, uh, on the whole agriculture produce and the way the marketing is getting done there. We've had discussions around standards, around packaging commodities. And we know in retail, every time we come in and sit for a meeting here, there is always this thing about Package Commodities Act and the way the Weights and Measurement Act is being enacted, etc. I think after 50 years, we've seen a lot of movement from the office on the Package Commodities Act from your office. So I'd like to thank you, sir, for the amount of support that you've shown us. We, from our side, will tell you that we want to definitely adhere to the standards. More importantly, we want to ensure that customers are happy. But we'd like to work along with your office to make sure that the rules are so framed that there is no chance of ambiguity of any chance. It doesn't become a, a method for people to come in and trouble the retailer or the customers in any form whatsoever. So that's our commitment. And with that, uh, I thank you for taking time here. I also thank Rahul Chadda for, 
for arranging this. I think Rahul is the chairman of the, the Northern Council of RAI and uh, he's been instrumental in getting a whole lot of retailers to come in and bring in specific requirements of the Northern region for us. And I'd like to thank the Northern region members for this and the other members of RAI and the various service providers to RAI because there are lots of people who are involved in creating the retail industry. Uh, the industry currently employs about 33 million people, but these are directly, I think indirectly it's much, much more. So I thank everybody for this and thank you, sir.